All right, guys, I've got a guest here going to help me out today with some of the partner work so you'll be able to see how the combinations work a little bit better. So first, we're going to start with a warm-up. Let's put our feet together and bow. So this is, we're in a Muay Thai uniform because today we're going to start on the Muay Thai combinations, eight combinations. So John, what we'll do first, we're just going to warm up. So just moving up and down in a fighting stance, guard up. Little steps. Okay, so everyone watching at home, just moving in your fighting stance, equal length steps, turn, keep your hands up, so front foot, back foot, front foot, back foot, like you're stalking someone, you're moving in on someone. Remember your stance, knees bent, shoulder width apart, shoulder width in length, hands up, step, step. We're just getting the legs warm, getting the calves warm, turn. And now, we'll add a little bit more, a little bit of speed now, picking the pace up a bit. Okay, so we'll add some checking, so check, 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 one, two, three. Check, one, two, three. Check, one, two, three. Check. Check, one, two, three. Check. You don't have to do it every three. You don't really want to get into a, into a pattern. Knee up to the elbow. So keep your hands up, bring your knee up to the elbow. So really we're doing this not just to practice the technique, but to give the legs, the thighs a bit of a, a, bit of a stretch at the same time. All right, footwork. So, Put some dots on the ground or any sort of object with the mats here, we've got intersections. So we're going to use our body stance and zigzag in and out. Yeah, so just pick those intersections, John. And just like a car going in and out of the, the cones, the witch's hats, we're going to do the same with our body stance around. So you need to maintain your stance at all times and pivot at the end. So you don't want to start changing stances unless that's your intention. So you need to maintain the stance and weave. If you want to change stance, change stance. Okay, good. Now what we're going to do, we'll check and punch. Check and punch. Check and punch. So, for instance, this could be uh, just slow. John John throws a roundhouse up his back leg. There's the punch. Throws up the front leg. Boom. So people don't expect you. Like what people usually expect is throw the kick. Boom, and then bang bang. Okay. What they don't expect is kick off the back leg. The punch at the same time. Uh, it's not easy to do that. It takes a bit of practice, but. As someone's kicking, their guard is usually dropping. So while they're kicking is a good time to, to hit them because they're not set. Okay. Check, punch off the opposite side. Breathe out on each technique. Remember when you check, pull the foot back and bring these together. Okay, this time, check, down, kick, other side, check, 
down, kick. So I'll just show you that one again. <clears throat> Check, down, step, kick. I didn't mention the step. Check, down, step, kick. One more time, we'll do that slow. <clears throat> Check their kick, put it down, take a step, kick with the same leg. Check with the left, put it down, take a step with the opposite leg, and kick. All right, so let's have a look how that looks when we put it together. Check, kick. Check, kick, check, kick. Okay, so that movement here is very important. We use that in uh, many techniques, knees, kicks, even punches. So that's, that's what we're focusing on. Check, down, step, kick. Check, kick. Check, kick. Get the guards up. Check, kick. Check, kick, check, kick. So we're just going to warm up pace, giving the legs a bit of a stretch. Check, kick, 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 check, kick. Then we do some switch knees now. Step your front leg back, other leg forward, <coughs> knee. One, two, knee. One, two, knee. One, two, knee. Okay, good. In your fighting stance, small steps. Left, right. Not big steps, small steps. One, two. One, two. It's turning from the shoulders and a little bit from the hips. Really focusing on footwork. Step, step. You need to coordinate. The step with the punch. Push-up sit-ups, just 20 of each would be fine. Normally in beginners we say 10 to 20 kids, 10 to 20 intermediates, 50, advance 100. I'm sure you don't want to watch us do 100 push-ups the rest of the, the video, so we'll just pump, punch out 20 push-ups, 20 sit-ups. Okay, with us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
and set up sort of crunches. So you can do uh, these ones this way. You find that way, John. Yeah, crunch up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good job. All right, so now we're going to get our, our sparring gear on. Now, if you're training at home on your own, you won't need your sparring gear. You can just do it shadow boxing in there. Uh, if you've got a punch bag, just put your gloves on. You can do it on the punch bag. If you've got a partner, uh, you can either do it on the pads or you can do it as a sparring drill. So th these are the Muay Thai combinations. We'll be back in one minute with our sparring gear on. Okay, so a lot of students haven't seen these, uh, these combinations as yet. So John knows some of them, might not know some of them. So I'm going to explain them to John as I explain them to you. Okay, so the first combination is simple. It's a jab. The, the idea is to get their attention up high. So John's looking up high, gets his attention here. And we're not going to check for now, I'm just going to practice a combination. I'll follow the roundhouse to the legs with my using my shin. Okay, so one, two. And John can throw that back. See so one and two. Okay, and in between your combination, just move around. Ideally, circle your opponent, move different angles. But for the video, we'll just stay this way so you can see us properly. Okay, so I'm going to go a little bit quicker now. One, two. So when you do it with a partner, when they throw that jab at you, oh, we need to cover it or parry it. Yes, yeah, so throw it again, parry it. But it's easy, easiest just to throw the jab, just to cover it this way. Yeah. And normally, if that kick was coming, throw that kick, I'll be checking it. Yeah, but we're not working defenses as yet. We're just working on how to throw the combination. Okay, so I'll throw it. One, two. One, two. We'll move around a little bit. Okay, so keep practicing that one while I'm talking. So that's just the base combination. What you can do from there is more chance of landing the kick on the, on the double jab up. One, two, kick. Okay, because often people will parry that first one down. So parry that one down, pull and pull and hit with the second one. Bang, throw the kick. Okay, so that's the first combination is jab roundhouse. I'm just giving you some variations now. Okay, so John, double up that jab. Pull and pull and pull. Okay, so you got me preoccupied with the jab. You got my tension up here. Less chance of me seeing that kick. Okay, my turn to you. One, two, three. Double the kick up. So if you go back to the single jab and kick, kick, yeah, or single jab, kick to the legs, kick to the body. The reason I might do that, let's say John checks the first kick and his, his, his check's a bit sloppy, so he keeps it up there. Yeah, so one, two, I go for the for the other leg. Or same again, I throw the jab, he checks that one, then he puts it down, and I kick again as he puts it down. So, watch again, you'll check that one, boom. So as someone's putting the leg down, they can't check because their weight's coming down. So, as some, just put, put your leg down, boom, as soon as he puts his leg down, you hit him, they got a little chance of lifting the leg back up as their weight comes down. So, a single jab, John, and double round kick. One and two. Yes, and then when you're doing this on the pads, it boom, boom, rebounds, a so kick, kick, it's not kick, down, kick, it's on the pads, it's, okay, 
just the ball of the foot, and again. And it's a yeah, kick, kick, yeah. Yeah, kick, kick. You can go two different heights. move on to the next combination. Now you could spend a whole session just working those. You can even double up the jab on that last one and then, then double the kick up. So let's have a look at another one, very similar, but instead of me getting your tension right in front here, maybe stand here John, instead of me getting his attention right in front, I'm going to get his attention up here, which is the furthest distance away from that leg. So I'm going to throw here, Get the tension up here, and then throw the same kick we threw before, which could be to the leg or body. Okay, so it's a left hook. Now normally my left hook will be quite tight, but I need room for my leg. And if I do a regular left hook in here, then I'm in range for a knee, not a roundhouse. So I'm trying to set myself up. So I'll throw it a bit bigger. And even if I was to hit with this part of the glove, which is wrong, it gives me the room for the kick. So all I'm doing is deception. I'm getting his attention up here, boom. So I've got range to kick with my leg. Now if you knuckle it, fine. You can turn the knuckles over and then, and then you, you, they'll do more damage. This is just for setting up and it's easier just to hit me down. I'll just do it quick. You can see how quick from here, if you hand it ready. You can see how quick just doing a slap hook uh, to set the leg up, whereas as opposed to proper knuckled in hook, which is a fraction of a second longer, but that will obviously do more damage. All right, so John, maybe go back here now. So you've got the left hook, yep, ball, and then the roundhouse kick. And my turn, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now a little trick, what you can do, it's a good idea, Instead of me standing right in front of him and then kicking to the side of his leg, obviously if I'm in front of him, I'm also in line for shots. It's not really a trick, it's just footwork. What I can do is step out and then kick across the front so his weapons are all going that way. So I'll show you what I mean. One, two. Okay, so more advanced. So beginners um, wouldn't expect you to pick up this footwork straight away. But here, step out, one, now look, I'm kicking him front on to the body. So I've gone from this angle in line with him to this angle, but he's still going that way, and I'm kicking across the front. So I'll show you that one again. Okay, so let's try that one slowly, John. So left hook, yeah, good. Nice angle, and you got that right through that V there. That's perfect. Ooh, yeah, and kick me at front, across the front of the body, much harder for me to check that. Here we go, this side here. See why I need to keep my guard up. Okay, next combination is jab, cross. So I'm getting trying to get his hands up, boom, 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 into the body. Okay, so it's not your regular hook. This one's just coming from here and shooting up on a 45 degree angle to where this lower rib is, but behind the lower rib. So we're trying to hit the liver, which is more on a 45 degree angle towards the front than a, a side-on type of hook. Okay, so I'll get his guard up. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now that can feel a little bit awkward if you don't need your footwork right because 
we're going from close range then for a kick. So really my range would be to knee from there. So just watch my feet. One, two, step. And I just give myself a little bit of room with the stepping. So as you do it, see after this one here. If I need the room for a kick, step out, kick. Okay, try that one, John. There's a, 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 when you're just doing it in the air, you can just go one, two, three, kick, and that'll feel fine. Uh, even on the pads, that might feel fine as well. Um, but you're probably going to find pads and inspiring. You will need to take a step after that body punch if you can't get the range properly and you're too jammed up. So let's try that one, John. One, two, so let's uh, try that one again. So instead of going one, two, three, use that one is that to one? the body. Yeah. Yeah. Just do it, do it slow. Jab, cross, body, good, and kick. Yeah. So one, two, step to the left. And this is where you need to step more so on the kick. So you can even throw the body punch without the step. One, two, three, and then step. Step out. Okay, so you're going to be going that way. Yeah. So again, one, two, body. Yeah. So here, let me show you. Yeah. Just hop out of the camera. So you've got to go to this side here so you can follow. Just so the camera can see as well. One, two, left hook to the body. Yeah. And then step, kick. Oh, yeah. You yeah, got that one? Yeah. That's right, that one. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Now that was a nice sharp uh, body punch you did there because it wasn't a, a hooking motion. It was boom direct. Yeah. So I felt that. Again. One, two, three, and oh, nice. Yeah. So that kick came straight across the middle of my body. So I can't use a regular check. The best I could do would be check this way for that one. Okay. My turn to you. Okay, so that one actually took a step off to the side here. Yeah, just needed that range. Yeah, your turn. One, two, three. Good. Good thing you're 20 kilos heavier than me, eh? <laughs> so I changed the footwork again. After I went here, I went boom. Get a little bit of a jump. Drop. Yeah, just, just a variation. Okay, good turn. One, two, three, and push. Beautiful. Okay, uh, we tie combination number four. Maybe just come over to the middle a bit. It's just perfect. Yeah. Okay, so we're throwing the cross. Boom. Now, often we lead with the jab. Jab will set everything up. Yeah, people don't expect you to lead with the cross. So now and then, oh, especially if your guard's open. Well, if I see the opening, I don't need to set up, let's say the guard's open, bang, so if you can hit with the cross, just do it, boom, switch, kick, okay, so the switch kick, we did that in the warm up, front leg goes back, other leg goes forward, and then throw the kick, the reason we use a switch kick, I could do this, one, two, that's okay as well, I'm not using the switch, one, inside leg kick, that's still good, just not as powerful as kicking from the back leg. So this leg has got a foot of range. When I do a switch, it's got like a meter of range, so it's got all this run up. And also the switch confuses your opponent as well. So one, two, one, two, across the body that time. Yeah. One, two. So you have to turn with a punch. I'm set because my hips have wound like an elastic band and they want to go this way now. They want to go that way. All right, you want to try that one? Right cross. So that was a jab. Right cross. Boom. And then switch. And roundhouse. Again. One. Yeah. So you can just throw it across. I'll just throw it into my guard. Yeah. And switch, yep. So with your switch rather than that way, 
try to get the one two. Oh, the one two. Yeah, yeah it's it's a can be a bit of a um, brain teaser in the beginning with, with that one. Yep. All right. One two. Yep. Not too bad. If that one just take a bit of practice. Yeah, actually, I'll, I'll do it with you. Yep. So we'll stand there. Just do this. One two. Okay. One two. Yeah, just leave, leave your right leg there. Yep. Just pull your left leg back. And then put your right leg forward. Okay, just do that a couple of times. Okay, now a bit quicker. One, two. Three switch at the same time. One, two. Let's try. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Walk through. Yeah. One, two. One, two. All right, let's, let's try that one. We can work more on this one after the video if you need yeah. a bit more help with that one. Right, cross. And one, two, yep, better. And then try, same again, but kick me across the body this time. Yeah, right cross, push, switch it, push, good. Hey, me to you, ready? Push, push, me to you, push, me to you, push, push. Good idea? Yeah. Hey, one more, you go. Push, push, good, one more. Oh, good, beautiful. Okay. All right, um, so that's the first four Muay Thai combinations. They're the basic Muay Thai combinations. And we'll show you the next four in the next video. So what I'm gonna show you is a grappling technique. So John and I will move in together. Now what happens in here, a lot of people, they get scared of getting close. They don't mind being here. A lot of people love being out here. But as soon as they get into here, they get a bit worried. As soon as it gets to here, then they start panicking because yeah, um, they just don't feel comfortable in this close range here. Now normally in um, Muay Thai and boxing, you're not allowed to hold and punch. And you get away with it a little bit, but you're not supposed to, supposed to do that. But well, we train for self-defense, so we're allowed to do that. So I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. And you do it without a partner. From here, I'm going to maintain my guard. I'm not going to go like this and try to grab him because as soon as I open my guard up, he's just going to go crack. Yeah. So punch now. Okay, so I'm moving in with my guard up. Now because my stance is side on, I don't want to be square on for this, at this range. As, as I go side on, my front hand is going to slip in around his neck between his guard. So let's face this way here. See his guard? It's got that V in the middle here. Even if it's tighter. Yeah, so I maintain my guard and I slip in. Maintaining my guard, yep, maintaining my guard here. And I grab him around the neck. Okay, so all I want you to do at home is do this, because if you don't have a partner, move in, and you're not really gonna move, you upset your guard too much. Just gonna hook in, keep this against their body here. This, uh, move this way, don't move the arm. That, that bone here, you can't compress that. Move in, can't crush that bone. Yes, sir. That's keeping him at the distance that I want him. I want him in closer, I can pull, pull him in closer. This is hooked around the neck or around, if you want to pull him down, if I just want to work knees, uh, punches, then around the neck's fine. The moment I want to pull him down, I'm not going to be able to pull him down. Resist, John. I can't pull him down from here because I'm trying to bend him at the hip. But if I go here, I'll bend him at the neck and I'll pull him down. So if you're trying to pull someone down, go up higher on the head. Okay, so the guard up. I'm going to work my way in, boom, there, and here, and I've got the grapple. Then I can use the other, other arm as, if I want to, or use this hand for punching, say your guard's up. Yeah. So here, around the corner there, around here, around here. I can switch hands, move to the other side as well. And don't forget, keep the knees working as well. If you're just working up here, they get used to that, so get their attention here. here the, the sharp of the knee into the muscle here, boom, boom. Gets your attention back down there, upsets the guard. If you hit someone here, it upsets the guard. This one opens up again. All right, let's have a look at that one. I'll show you one more time. From here, I might punch my way in, and then when I get to a certain point here, slip that in there. Yep, so I've got him controlled already. Knee, punch, and let's say he brings his hand up here. Body, he brings his arm here. So wherever I punch him, he'll probably gonna start defending that area. Yep. Yeah, so then I'll, can move around. So even from here, I can move off to the side here. Bang, bang, 
bang. Okay, so from this position, I can just do a pivot. And then I'll get a side on position. Uh, let's try some of that, John. Let's move to the middle here. So for now, just work moving into the grapple. Nice, okay, let's do the grapple. Now pull down. Okay, so see how it's not really pulling me down too much. So grab higher on my head. Now, huh? so as soon as my neck bends, then you got me down. Okay, so maintain that grapple. Now, if you want to, you can start punching on end, yeah, good. So as soon as you knee, see what happened to me, knee again like that. Boom, okay, so that starts manipulating where my head is. If you knee from the other side, ooh, okay, so it starts opening things up. And see where you can get some shots in. Nice, okay, so you came straight between my guard here. Uppercut, do that again, pop. There we go, beautiful. So as soon as that happens to me, I'm gonna be guarding here, and then poof, around the outside here. He's still got me held here. Okay, so, yeah, good. Let's try that one again, one more time. Good, nice, yes, good. So you've got the body here too with the punch. Yep, so round the back there, dig those knuckles in. Good, oh, beautiful right on the floating rib, which was already broken. All right, good job. All right, thanks, John. Okay, feet together, bow, face the front, and bow. Thank you.